I owe you 300 for the video game stuff. What would you need for the rest of it? Hey guys, it's Wednesday morning. I've got 10 eBay orders to ship out, and after that, I'm heading to meet up with somebody to buy some inventory. Let's get to work. First thing I'm shipping out is a Rawlings baseball glove. Let's see. It said B6, but that's before I changed over my inventory. So it should be somewhere down in here. At least I thought it would be. Maybe I moved it over to that bin. I think it is this one right here. This is a uh, premium series. Well, shoot, now I'm looking at the pictures. I don't think that's it. No, this is not the one. Let's put this back. That's it. I could tell because it had the trapeze in the picture and I knew that wasn't right. Okay, this is a premium series. Got this in a bulk buy of stuff that I got uh, from Mike and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is an A31. It is a PlayStation 4 controller. I think this sold too, so I'll go ahead and pull that. I got this uh, from the Pickle Resellers, Danny and Parker, uh, just yesterday actually. Uh, listed it, sold pretty quick for $24.99 plus shipping. And this sold as well that I pulled out of there. Uh, Puzzle and Dragon Z, and then um, like a Super Mario, like dual game in one for 3DS. Um, that was also in that video game stuff from Danny and Parker that sold for $12.99, free shipping. Okay, next is a couple of Game Boy uh, colors. Let's see, first is in D32, it is the Atomic Purple. And then next is in E42, right here, it is the Kiwi Green. Unfortunately, neither of these had the back covers, but tested them both out, they both worked great. Same buyer got both of them for $94.98 plus shipping. Those are going out to a viewer named Michael. He says, John, I'm a viewer and also have an eBay store mainly selling video games. I wanted to see if you could give my store a shout out on your video, Side Gig Gaming. Thanks for all your great content and your videos. P.S. Would you combine the shipping for both these games? Thanks. Michael, thank you for the support. I'll be happy to combine shipping and refund you the difference. Okay, next is in C42 right here. It is this PS3 Blue Controller. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next sale is a big one. Um, let's see. It says E5, so it's right down here. This is the Optimus Equalizer that I picked up from Mike uh, about a week ago. So I guess I've probably got about $20 into this. Had the original box. Was in really clean, good condition. That sold for $79.99 plus shipping. Uh, next is right here, Seinfeld Complete Series, something I got from the Pickle Resellers. I checked all the discs. Unfortunately, it is missing one disc, and I searched everywhere to buy that replacement disc and could not find it, so I just decided to sell it as is. Sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is a hat. It says it's a fedora hat, and I'm not sure where I put the thing, to be honest with you guys, because I'm... Moved a bunch of stuff around when I changed up my inventory, and it's probably in a box. Let's see. I think it might be this one right here. Hugger. Yep, yeah, this is the one. It's got a pin and everything. I um, got this at a garage sale a few months back. I've only got $2 into it. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I got a couple more hats that sold. Let's see here. First one is this Ducks Unlimited orange hat with the tags got that at a garage sale for two dollars that sold for 11.99 plus shipping and next is a trucker hat nra let's see it says e3 so it should be in one of these boxes there it is nra liberty i've got 50 cents into that hat it sold for 8.99 plus shipping that has gone into a viewer named Matt. He says, I've really enjoyed your videos, both picking and foster care. My wife and I have been doing foster care for about eight years now. I am working to be able to resell full time and building my YouTube channel, Matt and the Fam. I post thrifting haul videos, graded card unboxing, card pack rips, and some other random videos with my kids. I've learned a lot from your channels and I'm currently building up inventory to get a vintage shop booth. Thanks again, Matt. Matt, it sounds like you are doing great with everything and I'm definitely gonna check out your YouTube channel. 
Thanks for your support. All right, guys, I'm heading to buy some inventory for my friend Shirley. I've known her for a number of years. She bought for me when I had my online auction. She bought a bunch of stuff for my storage unit, and now she has a bunch of stuff to sell. She sent me some pictures. She's got um, an original NES, um, quite a few games in the boxes, and we agreed on a price on all that stuff. And then she's got a VCR, some other electronics, maybe some cameras and stuff. So I'm going to check that out and maybe buy some of that too. I'm trying to, I brought a lot of stuff. Okay. But you know, it's just, I just went through and grabbed. Stuff. Yeah, sure. So maybe there may not be anything here you want. Don't worry about it. Just, uh, I did find this stereo. Okay. I, didn't know. I forgot about it. It's been packed away for years. This, oh, well, this is this Steins. Okay. Some of them. Budweiser and different things. Okay. Decanter. Okay, yeah, I'd be interested in those. Yeah, they're uh, from, I know some of them are from Germany. Yeah. He went over to, in the service, he went over and got oh, some yeah? of those. Oh, yeah? Yeah, those are nice. Yeah. Uh, the one cool one, <laughs> I mean, has a different feature than the rest of them, happens to have his name on it. Oh, yeah? But... Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's neat. It's got a plane on top and everything. Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. Nintendo and the games. Okay. <laughs> Boots. You can do anything with those. 15s? 15s. Yeah. I wear 13s. I'm a little small. Yeah, I don't know if I can do anything with these. I got two pair. That one is a little different. Okay. It's up to you. Okay. You selling your doorstops? Yes. I'd be interested in those. Oh, yeah. Camera yeah. lenses. Yep. Here, I'll swap these out for you. Okay. Do you have any bodies? Camera it's bodies? Not, uh, some, but those are not. Well, but this camera is not. Okay. Body. Camera spectrum. Uh, VCR. Okay. Camera VCR. Yeah. Like an oil can or something? Yeah. So you couldn't find the remote? Yeah. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, if I find it before you get rid of it. I'll okay. I owe you 300 for the video game stuff. What would you need for the rest of it? The, the other stuff. So like the steins, the, the steins. lenses. Wait, how do you think on the steins? It's just that Wendy's bag. Not 100% on. On selling the Steins? Yeah. Okay, so let's hold off on those for now and then price out, I guess, the rest of the stuff besides the video games, what you would need. Well, I need really about $2,000, John. Woo, it's going to be tough. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a tough one. You're good, though. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubt that you couldn't get your money back. Um, I don't know, John. I should pay you for taking it off my hands. <laughs> Um, that's, 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 I don't know. Um, 50 bucks. No, it's gonna be more than that. How about an extra 80? So you're 380. Okay. And then, um, you guys give some thought to the Steins and kind of price them and let me know what you think. I'm not in any hurry. And if you're coming up to get more stuff, you know, in Blue Ash again next time, we can meet up. Well, do you have any ideas on them? If I'll there's be honest, some, I haven't searched any. Yeah, I just bought a collection of thirty or forty of them three or four months ago, and the majority of them sold for about fifteen to twenty each. Um, but I, I'd have to research and see if there's some kind of rare one or something. So I would have no idea. Mm. Well, do you want to take them? So that you can do the research um yeah sure do it that way and i won't list anything there you go thank you i won't list anything yet i'll just look them up and see if i can find you know sales comps for you guys and screenshot them and send them to shirley and we can go off of that okay does that work yeah okay that's me. That's great. all right well thanks for bringing the stuff oh cool. you're welcome thanks for taking it yeah absolutely <laughs> give it. me i'm not working tomorrow or friday because of the holiday my kids school is closed yeah so give me about a week and i'll get some prices on those okay. and I'll let you guys know what I find. Okay. All right. That's great. All right. Thanks guys. Awesome. Have a happy new year. Right, Thank you. It's you good too. seeing you again. Yeah. Tom. Good seeing you. Safe travels back home. Yeah. All right guys. I'm back at the warehouse. I spent $380. I'm going to show you what that bought me. First is a VCR. 
Let's see, it's a Sony. Didn't have the remote, but if it works, it's probably it'll probably bring thirty, forty dollars, something like that. Uh, we got a Coleman water jug that is going to go to my antique booth. That should sell for about fifteen or twenty. There's a couple door stops, three of them actually. Um, one is like this flower and a basket. We got a cat, a boot, and a rooster. These all three also go to my antique booth, and they should bring. I think anywhere from like $15 to $20 each. Down here in this tote, let's see, we've got some action figures. Um, I think I'll probably just give these to my daughter. Uh, Red's bobblehead, a copper pot, some odds and ends, Star Wars things. I've never seen this before. Some kind of like R2 D2 like learning system. It's kind of neat. Here's a Vivitar lens. See some calculators, light meters, some more lenses in here. Four of them total. And then some remotes. And then right here, these uh, steins, there was eight of them total. They weren't really sure what to value those. So I told them I would look up some prices and let them know. I've known Shirley a number of years. She trusts me and I've met Chris a number of times. So I think they trust me to not just take these and sell them. So I'm gonna to try to look up some values, see if I can figure out what they're worth before we try to put a price on them. And here is the focal point of that deal. Um, it's an original NES with, I think about 10 games that are all complete in the box. So I paid 300 just for this stuff, which seems like a lot of money, but since the games are complete and in really good condition, I think they'll do pretty well. We got Metal Gear, Deadly Towers, Double Dribble, Paper Boy, Super Mario Brothers, Baseball, Indiana Jones, Wood and Water Rage, uh, Rescue Embassy Mission, Blades of Steel, Anticipation, Volleyball, never seen that game before, Ninja Turtles, Bart vs. the World, and Xenophobe. Um, let's see, we've got an Ultimate Super Stick Controller, kind of third party thing, I've never seen that before. I don't even see where it connects, that's different. Uh, we've got Nintendo Super Controller, regular, or there's another Super Controller, um, power cord, I don't see an RF switch or AV cable or anything, but I got some extras of those laying around to test it. And then we've got, hmm, I don't know what this is, it says Bishu Ink, maybe for like some kind of zapper gun or something, that's different. Or actually, now that I think about it, this probably goes with that right there. And this sends a signal wirelessly. Well, that's different. I'm probably gonna do an auction with about half of those games. It seems like the ones that are in really good mint condition uh, sell for a good amount, you know, like upwards of $100 or more because collectors are getting them graded, I think. So uh, maybe half of those games, it should be easy to determine the value and I'll just list them, you know, for the, the selling price. And then the other ones I'm probably gonna do auction. So if you guys are collectors and you're interested in any of the games, I'll put a link down below in the description for my eBay store. Shirley and Chris, it was good seeing you both again. Thank you both so much for the deal and everything. All right, before I end this video, I've got some viewer mail to open. First is from Kevin Brown. You guys probably know him as the Commonwealth Picker, one of my favorite channels to watch. Kevin has just a really, well, two really good channels where he just shares all of his eBay knowledge, Commonwealth Picker and Commonwealth Flipper. Let's see what we got here. Got some weight to it. Got a coffee mug. Oh, this is so cool. He's got an enemy on here, that's his, Little mascot for his channel, kind of an adop adopted mascot, I think. <laughs> we get things moving, CWP. How funny is that? And I've got a little Innaman doll from them too. John, uh, no shout outs or mentions here. Just me saying thank you for your kindness to me and my channel. Merry Christmas to you and your family. God bless you and yours in 2021. Kevin, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate this. And if you guys are not subscribed to Kevin, I highly recommend it. I think you'll really enjoy his channels. I'll put a link down below in the description for both of them. Okay, next is from New To You Provisions. All right, we've got a letter. Hey John, firstly, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to pick through your storage units. I've already made a buttload of money off those picks and will continue to do so for a long while, considering the number of items I pulled out of there. I love to hear that. Thank you as well, going back to the LWIF days up through today for being a genuine, gracious, and 
engaging businessman. Even back then, pre-YouTube, you were giving me bolos when you found out I was selling on eBay. Thank you for helping educate the reseller community through your YouTube videos. Without them in part, I likely wouldn't have made it this far into my journey of attempting to turn my eBay store into a full-time business. When picking through your storage units, I told you I'd get you a sample of the bottle you sold to me. It's a 1995 Jim Beam 200th anniversary bottle, 95 proof. Well, that bottle is almost gone, so I figured I'd better get on it. Also, please enjoy a family pizza dinner on me. I'm sure between foster parenting, reselling, YouTubing, and everything else, sometimes things can get a little bit hectic. Hopefully this can provide a brief respite for you and your family. It's not much but a small token, my appreciation for what you've done for me. I hope you and your family have a great holiday season and keep up the fine work. Ben from New to You Provisions. P.S. Holding my breath for Reseller Rally 2021. Yeah, me too. Oh man, Ben, you did not have to do that, man. Rose's gift card. If you guys are from Cincinnati, this is a local pizzeria and it is really good. And then in here, so we got a little bit of whiskey. Look at that. A little bit of spirits. Ben, thank you so much, man. This was really nice of you. Okay, next is from Mike. We got a hat. Let's see here. Is there a note inside? I'll see a note. Nintendo Wii hat. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Mike. Okay, next uh, just says R. Brinkman. It's actually from Cincinnati, too. Let's see what we got. John, I've learned so much from you in the past year or so. Thank you so much for your informative and entertaining videos. I'm keeping my eyes out for any My Little Pony stuff. You need to satisfy your secret obsession, which you confess to in April. God bless you and your family. Here's some red stuff from 81 and 88 for you to enjoy and or sell. Thanks again. Ron Brinkman, part-time seller and full-time fan of you and the Reds. Oh, this is so cool. Small Cincinnati Reds magazines. Ron, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Okay, last but not least, um, doesn't say who it's from. It's from Minnesota, though. Let's open this up. We've got a letter. Hi, John. I like your videos. It's fun to watch what you get at the garage sales. I'm a baseball fan. Hope you're doing good. Hayden. Hayden, thank you for the letter. I really appreciate it. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.